Good morning. Uh, like I said in one of the past videos, I want to pull out the uh, the air box here and replace the little flaps that are inside here. The, the, foam, the foam on those flaps goes bad and you can't really seal off the air box, air box and so your defrost doesn't work right. Um, I want to do that. I also want to get to the radio and the uh, washer button that's on the, uh, uh, the windshield wiper button. I want to replace uh, or clean that out so we can see if that works. Um, I'm also going to replace the vents on top of the dash for the uh, uh, for the defrost and so I'm going to pull out the windshield too but right now we're just going to pull this out and get to the back of it um, so that we can uh, start doing some work on that. Let me get a couple tools and I'll be right back. So there's just these three little machine screws up here Phillips head <coughs> I only had one when I first got this thing and uh, that was probably due to them just vibrating out so I literally went to the hardware store took the old one and just matched it as best I could these work and this just kind of slides down um, it's also attached, oh yeah, it's also attached here to the, uh, the drain. We need to pull that out. There we go. And then it's also attached to these vents on the side. So you've got to uh, do all of this at once here. Also got the um, controls <coughs> for these flaps inside on the back here so we'll be taking those off too um, so we can just get this standalone and go inside and, and work on it but I can also get to the, uh, the wiper motor and the radio here if I want to pull the radio out I'm debating pulling the radio out I don't know that I will, but to get to a couple other things, it almost looks like I have to, to get to the, uh, uh, the windshield washer and all that business is up there too. God, is that something I really want to do? <laughs> um, I don't know. Let's concentrate on this right now. I think that's the the main thing. So we just want to remember that these are crossed. These are also the the adjustment for this. Oh, I see. You know, you don't have to take that all the way apart. It actually slides out of here like that. inside there and uh, fix those flaps and I'll show you how to do that in a minute but do I want to pull all this business out the wiper motor and everything and get to the radio and get to the uh, the washer which is right here kind of wrapped around things. It's right there, but it's just behind the the 
wiper motor and arms. I mean, I can pull that out and mess with it too. It all works. Might just pull it out and lower it down so I can get to the, the washer. Do I need a washer? I may not need a washer. I don't know. Let's work on this. So I think we will pull the, the wiper out. So to do that, we're going to remove the wiper arms. Which is tough to do one-handed, so I'll bring you back once those are off. So once you get that off, the, the arms just pull off. And the other reason I pull this out is I don't pull out the windshield. I want to replace the vent you can't see down there. Can I make a shadow? No, I'll show you in a minute. Ah, let's go ahead and bite the bullet and do it. We gotta do it. I got the new rubber. Let's pull out the windshield. Helps to have a new blade on your knife. It's just coming right through that rubber. Really bad rubber. It's the original. As far as I know, this has not been off here at all. It's really hard down here, like completely worn out. save this windshield. I know it's got bubbles and all kinds of stuff in it. I love it. Tons of character. There's 50 years of dirt <laughs> under there. There it is. You're up this way. Oh, it's stuck to the inside rubber. <laughs> Don't want to crack it. I'm going to work it. Looks like I need to take the knife inside too a little bit here. Okay. Careful. There we go. Ta da! There we go. That's not a good place for this.
All right. We have no windshield. Headliner clips. Lots of clips. Honestly, do not know what all the clips are for. Oh, that one's holding in nothing. It's just a clip of some sort. This is this one's holding in headliner. So we gotta get it around that when we put the new windshield in. I'm not sure why these are on here, but maybe they help hold the windshield in some. But the main reason we're doing this is to get these these busted vents out of here. Let me grab you and show you. These are, oops, where's my hand? There we go. These are all chewed up. This one's pretty much gone. And that one's pretty close. Uh, just want new vents in there. So I'll grab the vacuum and clean up some of this dirt and dust. And uh, we can at least get those in and start doing some of the the other stuff so it looks like maybe these come out with uh, some pliers and I've got a small screwdriver here but there's some tabs on the back here I can see Pliers are necessary, but there we go. Ah, there it is, and that's your flap to air come out comes out the front or the defrost, and you can you can adjust it that way. I'll show you on the new one. Let me go grab those. So here's the new the new vents, and you can see when you when you do this, it turns off the front vent. Uh, and then opens it up. It's, it doesn't fully seal. It's it's an okay thing, you know. Ventilation on these were kind of an afterthought, but those would just go slip right in there. But you got to get the you got to get the bottom one in first. So we'll put that in and slide this in. I'll take you and put you over on the camera stand there, and we'll watch it happen. So you've got to get this guy, and this is just for these that have the front ventilation. If you don't have all this. You have one hose connecting to your, your uh, defrost over there. This all has center lines and everything. I broke one, so I'm gonna replace those lines too. But you gotta get that up in there like that so that you can slide. I lost it. There we go. So you can slide this guy down in there and clip it in so i'm going to struggle with that a minute okay so there's a lot going on here <clears throat> you've got three hoses you've got one that goes over into the corner for the traditional defroster and on mine i don't remember what year it's up to but or from you've got this this vent has another hose to it and then a hose here that goes over the box and then you've got another defrost hose that goes to a little connector in the middle. That one I got in, it just clips in. I had to push up on the bottom, but I also cracked a hose uh, on the way. Those are available, I'll get a new one, put those in. But this little guy originally had some foam gluing it in there. Or holding it in there into this vent right here. Uh, the foam's long gone, the adhesive's long gone, so I had some of uh, this other stuff. Oh, here it is. Uh, black Super Weather Strip Adhesive. Fast drying. Exceptional bond strength. Blah, 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 blah. I'm trying it. Black silicon probably do the same thing. But it's sitting in there, and we'll let it just set up. Then... 
this guy clips in there and everything should work right we hope um, I'll do the other side too and I'll bring you back all right so we got all three of these in the center and the two sides that's uh front that's front vent on front vent off so defrost front vent defrost front vent um, you have to get this guy uh, stuck up in there with some glue or silicon or something I got some towels underneath there just holding it up so it dries better um, but once they're kind of up in there they'll stay in there pretty good if it's, it's a beetle and uh, see there's a towel holding that one and I'll get the hoses back on and uh, next we'll go in and tear apart this heater box or the air box and see how that works okay so let's try and tackle this thing um, can see oops keep bumping stuff you can see where is it there we go the little flap in there let me brighten this up there we go there's the flap opening and closing and uh, it doesn't have any foam on it so air leaks past it is this important? Probably not, but they're cheap, and I like doing stuff like this. So we got the little flaps from Wolfberg's West, 113-819-5125. And I open this up. One of these already has the uh, sticky stuff taken off of it because uh, I tried to put it in from the end. You cannot put these in from the end. So we're going we're gonna to take this top off, and you can see it's got heat sealed little buttons here. They probably left a little pin. They put the top on and just seal it like that. So we're going to um, reverse engineer this with a, a propane torch. Um, I'm going to pull out this seal also because I've got a new seal. Um, and I already got all the dust and everything out of this, uh, out of the drain, huge drain. But here's the problem I have with this thing. This but let's fresh air in, it sits against the dash like this. Fresh air comes in, it goes out the vents in the hood. If you got these um, closed, then it's fresh air. If you got these, uh, uh, oh, if you got them open, then fresh air comes out those vents. Um, if you've got them closed, then when you have the defroster on, the defroster comes up to, through that plenum and then it, the defrost will go out the vents. Um, and that works great, but when you have this, this open, for fresh air, some fresh air is going to go out the bottom here too, um, and go out down through your defrost pipes uh, and out by the floor. So maybe that's a good thing. Maybe you want it out by the floor, but um, it's not the most airtight system. There we go. Gonna mess with fire. The cat will like that. But what I want to do is uh, heat these up and get a spludger behind here. Let's get a spludger first. So it'll pop out if it heats up enough. It's probably doing this outside, we're making smoke. There we go. Only a little fire. There's one. It's probably a little more flame than I want. We just want to get this hot. Don't necessarily need to, to melt it. Well, I mean, we do need to melt it. We don't need a fire. There we go. Too. I mean, then we'll melt them back on, you see.
There's three more. off this one that one was easy and this one's down in this channel a little bit there we go okay we got cat so there we go we got our little paddle here now you can see it just sits in here and flaps away, but the foam's all gone. So we get our new foam. I'm pretty sure this goes down here like this. I want to. We want to put this foam on. So the top, the flat bits at the top. Yep. Just like that. Just right around there. It looks like it's a little smaller than the original foam, but that's essentially it. This one, hopefully will stick here. I took, so I took the backing off of it and tried to do this from the outside. It didn't work. Let's see if we can get it. On here now. Yeah. And that's it, that just to, just to get to those. You've got to uh, melt all those little buttons, and we'll melt them back uh, when we put all this back together. And of course, they have two different part numbers. Um, I'm just going to take some time and uh, wash this out in the sink right now, too. Okay, so we've got our foam pads back on there, on our little flaps. These just slide and click back on, down in there, and this we will melt back together. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to melt it back. Just a little bit of heat. Oops, that one came apart. I think we have to let these cool a little bit before we get the next one. There we go. Burn my nose hairs off. Okay, those two are back on. one. 
about this plastic is easy to ignite. Not to mention this is just, you know, heated plastic as a seal here. <laughs> we hope it's somewhat tight. All right, those are all, you know, worse looking than they were when they were new, but they're pretty much sealed up. It still, it has some air leaks, which it does. These all work. Did I put them on backwards? Probably. That's the way I do things. Don't think about that. I bet you that will. I bet you that that'll hit the the car. <laughs> I might have to take these off again. Hmm. And it's supposed to be the new seal. This is the original seal. This is the new seal. Probably from Brazil. Well, I'll tell you this, it's tight in there. That's nice. Try that out. See what happens. But it looks right. It fits. And we'll just put this on the exact backwards of the way we took it off. And that's it. I'll show you that too.
All right, so we're back in here, and we have to hook up our little gates here. Uh, this clamp went through there first, right? I don't remember. Gotta hook that up regardless. This slid on here somehow. Onto the wire and, and, and what? I'll have to watch my own video. I'll have to see how that was on there. Just a minute, I'll bring it back. All right, that's super easy. But, uh, aren't these like this? No, they were, they were up here. So, this is underneath, and this bit's on top, and the screw goes through there and holds it all together. Is the wire and the same over here well that, I thought these both came out like that but it in there right sure Say that and it doesn't do it. And it's pinched on there, but it's still pretty damn loose. I'm doing something wrong, I'm sure of it. Okay, after reviewing the film, um, that's completely right. I just you just have to tighten it. Uh, I crushed my hose. I'm gonna reuse it anyway. I've got more of this. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so get this back in there. Uh, we're going to put the screws back in. Put the drain back on. Put 
push that up so it seals against the hood also. Oh yeah, the little hoses. We'll see about those here in a second. drain and that's a 10 millimeter which I don't have handy here but we'll get one finger tights not gonna kill it for right now and then these guys go between here and there and you almost have to do this well, putting this all together. So we'll take this off again <laughs> and get these hoses on while we put it together. Then this all slides down. Okay. Let's get those guys together. Ah. You almost need four hands. Sometimes, you know, there we go. Get those guys together. Get this under here and the drain on. Now everyone's happy. And we'll pull this off all again when I have to replace those other, this line right here that I snapped when I was working earlier. Ta-da! All right, you don't have to watch me put the rest in there. But now our flaps have foam on them so they won't let air through and we don't want it. So the defrost theoretically will work, although they never really did. We have a broken line over here anyway that I've got to pull out all this again for, but it's back together. Thanks for joining me today.